Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a sand slime tutorial and I just want to tell you that last time I tried to do this I made a mistake by making the slime and activating it first and then adding the sand and it just like makes it like a really rippy texture and like not a very good texture but it was still like a very interesting unique texture but today I'm going to do it a little bit differently and hopefully it works. Now let's get right on into the video. Woo! So I'm gonna start off by showing you the ingredients first. So first of all, we're going to be using white Elmer's school glue, some sand, of course, some lotion, some food coloring, some activator, a spatula, and a mixing bowl. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just trying to adjust this to make sure it's like at the right angle. So first, we're going to start off by adding our white glue. I just want to put it out there that I'm trying to make a six ounce at least. But most of the time, I either add too much glue, or too little, and now we're, and I, um, we're adding in lotion. I added about four pumps. Now we can go in with our food coloring. I'm trying to get it to like um, a baby pink. So I'm going to have like five drops. And then I'm going to mix it all together. Oh, and I also want to point it out that sometimes I add too much food coloring. You know, and then it makes it like not the color I was going for. And now for the most important part of this video, adding a little bit of sand. You know, when you like add this in, you think like, um, if you've ever made it, thinking like, oh, it's you don't notice the sand, but really when you activate it, you start to notice it. So I'm only gonna add like two little sprinkles. I learned my lesson last time. You s it doesn't look textured at all, but I promise you it is. So now we're just going in with our activator. Normally I would add a scent, but um, I just decided to pass on it this time. I normally don't have problems with over activating, but you know. So sometimes you um, activate your slime um, be, and you just keep mixing it and then it eventually gets over activated. But um, you should just go in with your hands and it'll eventually fix itself without ha having to you know, keep adding activator. Cause that is how slime gets over activated. So right now I'm just mix kneading with my hands. So just keep doing that until the slime gets to the right consistency. So I'm just gonna knead it. So it can, this is, gets really messy, I just gotta say. So please, um, when you're doing this, I would like do it on something like you don't care would get messed up. Cause this gets really messy. So now I'm just gonna get the excess slime off the bowl. But I cannot stress this enough. Always go in with your hands when you think it's way too sticky. 
slime really makes, I mean, not slime, sand makes slime like really like rubbery, I would say. So sand, in a way, it kind of activates your slime. I'm not saying like makes it slime slime, but it just makes it harder. So like I said, the sand makes your slime harder once you activate it. So I am just gonna go ahead and take some lotion and I'm going to put it in my slime. It feels super textured so far. Okay, I hope you can see this good. So it's a pretty baby pink I was going for. And like I said, I'm going to add a little bit of lotion. Um, if you have any spare time, I, sh I should say, just tell me in the comments what you would want me to do for my next video. Because I really want to know, because I like literally have no ideas. So then it like starts like get really like stringy when you add the lotion but trust me when you get like more into it I mean <laughs> what am I saying when you keep kneading that lotion in it gets a hundred percent better than it was before you'll think you will on I mean the first time I did this I got it too I'm like I messed up the lotion just ruined it but when you knead it in it'll make it so much better Hopefully this will work, but I want to show you. If you can't see this, you probably can't, but you can tell that you've added the sand because you'll see all the little sand grains in there. I just got to throw that out, that this out there, that this slime was uh, actually pretty cheap to make. You would think that um, the, that the sand would be kind of expensive. So, um, this is pretty inexpensive for, um, how much sand you get. So, it's pretty cheap to make this slime. Like, if you, like, if you don't want to buy a gallon and get a lot of glue, you could just, you know, go out and buy, like, a singular bottle. But once you, when you, like, but when you, um, make a lot of slime... You should just go ahead and buy the gallon because it's more worth it. I honestly would say for uh, white school glue, about like, um, I'm just gonna round, um, like singular bottles are like two to three dollars. So, um, about, like, um, just counting in my head, like, four singular glue bottles, like, the four ounce ones, they, like, equal the amount, um, it would cost just to buy a gallon, and I promise you, there's more four ounce bottles, there is, like, way more than four four ounce bottles in one gallon you know what I've never tried this but if you want to try making sand slime with glue all so if you want like okay so this is like soup like a super good recipe if you try making like any slime I guess um, you sh you should do half glue I like half white glue half glue all it makes like a light, like it's like thick, yet like a light texture. It's just super hard to explain. I've noticed that sometimes slimes that are like hard, like they're hard, but they're still clicky. People say that the perfect batch of slime um, means when it's clicky, but that's um, not, always the case because 
there could be hard slime that is, you know, clicky. I'm obsessed with doing swirls. So I honestly wish you could just like reach your hands into the camera and feel this slime because it is, oh my gosh, so textured yet stretchy. So I'm just gonna do a little SMR and stop talking. ASMR, excuse me. Okay guys, so that was it for the video. And now moment of truth, I'm gonna see if I made enough to fit in a six ounce jar. And as always, it doesn't fit at all, see? So this is probably gonna make a four ounce. But back to the slime. This is a super, super textured, very nice sand slime. So, I think the pastels really make it like pretty. I'm obsessed with swirls. I'm gonna do, like, you see how stretchy this is? But, you'll honestly think when you're making this that you didn't have enough sand, but trust me, you did. And remember, I have to say this twice. Please, please tell me what would you like me to do next? In my next video, I could do reviews, tutorials, anything you want. Just write it down in the comments. <laughs> I used to, like when you play with fart putty, you hear like the fart sounds, but when you're playing with slime, you don't, I used to not be able to hear that, but now I do. And I'm going to add a super cute touch at the end. I'm gonna add cute little Fimo slices. Now I'm gonna go fetch a jar that will fit this. This is like way too small. Thank you for waiting patiently. This isn't gonna fit in the four ounce jar either, so I'm gonna have to like take some off. That always happens, like it doesn't fit in one of my jars, but it, when you go one size up, it doesn't fit in that jar either. So I just had to end up putting them in separate containers. Look. <laughs> So I have a slime kind of similar to this. Well, it is a sand slime. It's called Tutti Fruity Smoothie. And uh, it is just super cute. The female slices like make it super cute. Like, I'm totally living right now. When I see that, it's super cute. 
So let me just see how cute these are. Let me just go ahead and add in these female slices to make them super cute. I'm like really bad at opening things, so if I spill this all over the place, like I'm sorry. Like I'm so sorry. So I actually, you can, um, female sizes are actually really easy to find. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, whatever you like. Whatever you wanna put. Like I said, I'm bad at opening things. So, <laughs> got slime stick to my arm. Like I said, I'm bad at opening things. So this is like failing me right now. So, back to what I was saying, you can get these anywhere. I got this cute little pack um, from buying putties. I guess the female slices were supposed to look cute on the putties. Like, I have these other female slices that don't include like the watermelon, and it's just super cute. I like totally have to take a picture of this, because this is just super cute. Can we just take a minute to admire the beauty? just an excuse to like you know go grab something so um, containers are also really easy to get uh, and um, so I hope you can follow this tutorial hopefully you know not mess up like I do a lot so i'm just gonna do a cute little asmr i want to put that thing over and i'm just gonna close it up and now i'm going to do a little asmr just gonna move this stuff out of the way I'm just gonna move this so you can get a better ASMR view. I know like a lot of things I've done so far are, like super cringy. I even cringe at my own things. I don't think female slices rise back to the top. I'm not so sure, but if they do, please tell me. On my next video, um, I'm thinking of maybe trying out viral slimes, but just give me your opinion. I really want to know. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm like super chatting. Well, anyways, that's it for the video, and don't forget to subscribe and hopefully hit the notification bell, and I'm so thankful for all the people who watch my videos, and like I said, please comment what you want me to do next time. Bye!